ain't know that y'all was hate. Brand new chick, she don't know that I can pace it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something I can calm down front. I'm gonna pull it with the ball down one. Six months in, I ain't got once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that C. started and off we go in Madden Ultimate Team to return it here's Reggie Bush now a crease here as he's past the 30 and he'll be out of bounds at midfield so a solid return to the 50 but that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front how will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Over the middle complete, it's Clayton. And yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Marino will look to throw on first. He rifles one that's intercepted. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. The 40, 30, the 20. Keep going, keep running, man. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Harrison Butker. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to... And all he takes off with it, it's a fake. Oh! And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Harrison Butker is set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now Bush on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. On second and nine, Marino. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jerry Judy, 61 yards. And the Dolphins are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. He's got it, so they take just the one here, and that makes it an 8-7 game in the first. Makes the score Patriots 8, Dolphins 7. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. From way up at the 23. Oh, a good looking return set up here. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 35 yard line. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line. Now a nice. 
Nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, but it's going to be second down. A second down throw for Vic. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the... Oh, well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him, and he records the sack. Oh, big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Steps away to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the run, it's Bush. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 17. Seven yards there and a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Marino to throw. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. A tight one, 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. Patriots 8, Dolphins 7. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal at the eight-yard line. Check, 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 check. Yeah, check. They'll run it with Bush, and they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Number 25. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. DeAndre Hopkins there to make the grab. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13. Vic complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 39. 27 yards there, a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They run on first down with Jackson, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The ball carrier. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up, 
They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Flush to his right. Number seven. Carter, we talked about this at halftime, but I don't think either one of us expected it to continue. Michael Vick has been bottled up in this game. This defense has done a fantastic job of containing his running ability. It is so rare. They could never contain him back in the day. Remember 2006 when he set the single season record with over 1,000 rushing yards. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's Vic loses the football. It's out. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dan Marino, and the Dolphins add on to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is, oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They set up the screen to Bo. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A gain of 26 yards. And the Patriot first down. A first down throw coming for Vic. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Not much there. Only a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. He'll hit Jackson complete. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. A big play there for the Patriots, 34 yards. The field goal unit on the sideline. They're going to go with one second left. This will be the final play of the half. Vic. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Fields this way up at the 17. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Vic now from the 50. Buying time to his left. He'll try and run it. 20. Michael Vick, he's going to go. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Michael Vick. 
50 yards. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. It's a pickup of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Out of the gun, it's Marino. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45 for a Miami Dolphins. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball, let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. They'll keep it in the hands of Bush. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Third and two, now Marino. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Gurley, the ball carrier. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Marino's second down throw incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10, and he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Now he's forced out left. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. And some room to roam now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 19 yards on the play. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. Back now in Miami. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' 23-yard line. That one good for 33 and a first. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive, and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting room. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. 
A man who played his college ball in Tallahassee. Here's Cam Akers. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten. On second down, this is Jackson. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. And the fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. That he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Now Bush on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. And this is going to be intercepted. Steve Atwater with a pick. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. At the 27. They'll run again with Jackson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try and run for it with Bo. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Michael Vick. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey touchdown with time Newman. running out. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover Harrison to cash Hunter this one in. The and they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score Patriots 29, Dolphins 22. Harrison Butker is set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now Bush on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, he's got a man complete. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. 
The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one, it's tempting to go for two. I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans, though, holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. Over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Play action now, Vic. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. And it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past... Harrison Bunker is set to kick off. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Now Bush on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. On first down, it's Bush. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And we're at the 41, second and nine. First throw in overtime now for Marino. They'll try to set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 33. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. This is Bush. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. They'll go again with Bush. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. But I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I think the defensive guys 
poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Brings up second and On second and nine, Marino. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Coming up on a third and nine, opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. Here we go. Marino here from the gun. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the six-yard line. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. And partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, what you <laughs> wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.